is Patrick and welcome to some more Tesla news. Lots of big stuff going on in Tesla world, a lot to do with autonomy. So first off, the big news today was Tesla finally unveiled the updates to the Model S and X. And this big update is in the powertrain. So now the headline is the longest range electric vehicle now goes even further. So the EPA range is now 370 miles on a charge and the Model X is 325 miles on a charge. And this is with the same 100 kilowatt hour pack. Uh, they, didn't know, they didn't say how they changed it or the batteries or anything, but it is gonna be able to charge at 200 kilowatts. Not the 250 that the Model 3 is, but still not bad, uh, almost double the speed of the current Model S and X uh, charges around, uh, up to around, realistically, like 110, 115 at peak. So it's still a substantial update. Uh, they also mentioned uh, a lot of other little little things. They upgraded the air suspension for the SNX with fully adaptive dampening, giving it an ultra cushioned feel when cruising on the highway and extra responsiveness during dynamic driving. So it's an option now in the menu where you can select the level of adaptive suspension dampening. It looks like they're really pushing for existing Model S and X owners to upgrade. And so if you're getting the performance variant, which is about $10,000 more, they're gonna toss in a free ludicrous upgrade, which is another $20,000 more. You can get into a ludicrous S or X for around 100K now, instead of like 150K, which is what it was like a year ago. So that's a huge difference from just not too long ago on, on the S and the X, which it probably has to do with, you know, the demand lessening because the Model 3 is a fantastic car and the performance Model 3 is just so good. They, I mean, they really have to do some adjustments now <laughs> to really, you know, give you a reason to want to upgrade to the S or the X. Now the S and X are much bigger cars and that would be like the main reason if you, if you wanted a larger car. Uh, and all the little full, cool little um, things like the door handles that pop out on the S or the, the automatic doors on the X, uh, the, the other things you have on the S and X are the filtration, you have the bio weapon defense mode, you have the air suspension. Those are things that are not available on the three. The one thing that, that's missing is the high amp level two charging that disappeared. So now you can only do 48 amps. You can't do 72 anymore which in my area is a huge disappointment because I just put in a bunch of uh, 72, 80 amp charging stations and there's not a lot of superchargers around. So that is my fastest option for charging to get out of town quick if um, something comes up. So I personally, I mean, I just got a Model 3, but I'm gonna hold off on upgrading my X until uh, we get a supercharger closer by or who knows, maybe I'll wait until uh, Tesla truck or something. I don't know. I, it, none of their new Teslas away, weighs out for me, but if anybody else is looking, this is this is a pretty good time. They just did the update. The really big news now is the full self-driving computer. Previously known as Autopilot version three, now full self-driving computer. They did like a three and a half, four hour presentation on just everything imaginable on their choices for chip design, the neural network, how the system works, and how they're planning to do the robo-taxi network. It was, it was mainly for investors, but they just went into a crazy amount of detail, and it, it, was, it was really cool. They were explaining how, even in the current autopilot, there's the predictive path, there's predictive path planning, where it can determine that the car needs to turn even when it can't see the turn in front of the car and just the way that the neural networks train they'll actually be able to account for things like tires in the road debris um, all these crazy things where there's accidents cars crashing into a lane in front of you and they just explain the massive amount of computing power that the new full self-driving hardware has on it and that it's got redundancy on everything it's got two full redundant chips it's got redundant power supplies and even the wiring harnesses are redundant for the cameras and um, the sensors and they explain how even with half the sensor suite working it could still drive just it, it, it's amazing it's made to be a, a commercial vehicle really and this is all model 3s currently made and i imagine 
um, all the new Model S's and X's with this upgraded powertrain are the same way. They're built to be a million mile vehicle. Now, Elon stated the only thing that isn't a million mile right now is probably, you know, obviously like tires and brakes and stuff. The batteries. The batteries are probably only going to last about 300 to 400,000 miles. I say only. That's still significantly better than most motors and vehicles, ICE vehicles. So, and then he's saying that next year they'll probably have a chemistry that will be able to be a million mile battery. So that's something to look forward to. Elon had also mentioned on Twitter that there's going to be module replacements for like the Model 3. So you don't have to replace, you know, the pack, but the modules could be replaced at a very uh, minimal cost. So that very promising for the future in terms of repair on these vehicles that are looking like they're going to last a very long time on the road. Uh, Elon even hinted at the next version of the full self-driving computer in three years. He's, he's saying that they think that they're at least three years ahead of the competition and whatever they're working on now to catch up to Tesla is going to be another three years behind when Tesla unveils the next thing that, they, that they're going to do. And it's just amazing how, how exponential the NVIDIA computer is that they're using now versus the full self-driving computer. I think he said it was like 18 times faster or more computations that it can do. It's really impressive. I can't wait uh, all the Teslas that I have. I bought the full self-driving option on and I can't wait for them to get retrofitted. Apparently the Model 3s was about 10 days ago they started putting them in there. Uh, the Model S's and X's were about a month ago. So I just barely missed out on the Model 3 by like a week or two. Oh well. <laughs> Other interesting note, Elon thinks that in the future humans will no longer be allowed to drive vehicles eventually at some point in time and that they're actually making it right now so like the Model 3s you can remove the steering wheel <laughs> and they can put a cap on them. So these will be robo taxis. At the end of the lease uh, all the Model 3s they'll go back to Tesla, they'll go into the fleet of robo taxis that'll work like Uber. You can summon them. They went into the kind of economics and stuff of it and it it makes a lot of sense. I mean, these vehicles take very little maintenance, energy cost is very low, and you eliminate the human driver, very cheap. A lot of people may not want to buy Teslas because they'll just use the service. I mean, it sounds like it might, the cost of ownership would probably be less than buying one just to, to summon one whenever you want to use it. And the really cool thing that Elon had mentioned before, didn't mention this time, is how you could have a driver profile that would follow you from Tesla to Tesla. And I bet you it could do the same thing with the app if you're writing in one. So all your preferences and everything on the screen and seats and all that could be automatic when you hop into this self-driving Tesla. Really awesome stuff. So yeah, so Elon says two years, no more need for a steering wheel. The end of this year will be full self-driving complete. He thinks he'll start retrofitting in the summer. Just really exciting times with Tesla right now. They're becoming more affordable than ever. They got the full self-driving coming out this year. Being able to sleep in the back of the car next year. Robo taxis. Pretty awesome stuff. If you like these news updates, please subscribe to the channel. I'm Patrick. You can email me, uh, patrick at wildwesttv.com. Or you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Walking Crow. Please subscribe to let me know that you're watching. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.